This is the first Ipade Mole, an engagement program that gives Governor Adimola Adeliki opportunity to give a kind of a stewardship in the last 10 months of his administration to all stakeholders in the state. As a government which believes in accountability, a government who believes in transparency, and a government who believes in feedback, this program is very, very important. Governor Adeliki, who described the infrastructural drive of his administration in the state as unmatchable, promised that landmark projects will be embarked on before the end of his first term in office. We are pursuing value for money and public-private partnership. Our financial plan is sustainable. Our people should expect the following new projects. Dualization of roads at two parts of the territorial district. Flyover bridges at Oshobo and some other towns. With widening the coverage of the payment of pension debts and payment of salary arrears, Adeliki explained that the two billion naira palliative received from the federal government has been channeled to affect every resident of the state positively. My government has resolved to spend the palliative of that two billion on three projects and programs, namely additional buses. He assured that government is already addressing communities with disputed kingship as well as shortage of teachers in public schools. I have directed the Ministry of Education to conduct a need assessment as a basis for recruitment and filling of vacancies in school. Our government is also committed to the implementation Emphasizing that his government will not borrow to fund ongoing infrastructural upgrade, he sought continued collaboration of the people for the overall development of Ocean State. The governor answered various questions while policy suggestions were also acknowledged. The public accountability platform, Ipade Mole, will be a quarterly program that will be taken to different zones in the state. In Oshogbo Femi, Afariogun, NTA News.